So I just hopped over onto my free-to-play account that I started quite a few months ago. I'm not that far in. I'm at AR24. So I thought it would be fun to just start a new account, a free-to-play account. And it's it's been a challenge because you have no idea how much I want to buy the Welking Moon and the Battle Pass. Anyway, that is besides the point. As I was playing through the game and unlocking quests, I need to do my commissions. I'll do those in a sec. I unlocked the first quest of Albedo, in which I haven't done in almost... It's been basically a whole year since, since I have touched the first quest. And if I recall correctly, I think I remember skimming through it. So I thought, you know what? Let's go down through some memory lane and do the first one again. Because why not? The first one was actually quite interesting. Oh yeah, I I also got Albedo on this account. I don't have him on my main account. I wasn't planning on pulling him on my main account. But after I pulled on him for this account and see how much fun he kind of is to play. I've been trying to get him on my normal account and the boy just won't come home. The next 5 star is guaranteed and he's just refusing to come home. Come home, damn it. Anyway, uh let's do uh let's take care of commissions really quick. I need to unlock this area. Oh, you <laughs> Game, you got to be kidding me. I don't have any of the waypoints unlocked over here. Why? Oh, I have to take the long way. Okay. All right. All right. All right. This is a uh... This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. So. We are done with our commissions. Let's go ahead and do the first part of Albedo's quest. Huh. Looks like Timaeus isn't here today. <laughs> Customers? Aw. Oh, um... Pardon me, are you looking for Timaeus? No, no, just strange for him to not be around. Paimon always sees him standing here. Called away by Albedo a little while ago. I was called over to attend to the store. Okay. I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I do my best to help. Sucrose is so cute. I would love to, like, meet her on on this account but she's not on the banner right now hey aren't you the legendary traveler the one who repelled storm terror uh legendary is a bit I much so many stories about you always wanted an opportunity to research you up close okay <laughs> what do you mean research uh, sorry don't mind me what am i saying still you'd definitely be able to help albedo it is you, after all. Albedo is the Knights of Favonius' chief alchemist. He's also Timaeus and my teacher. Albedo is a true gentleman. He'll be sure to pay you back in equal measure for helping him out. Can he make me stronger? Can he make Paimon stronger? Can he make I me don't stronger? I see why not. Testing the limits of living beings' capabilities is one of Albedo's areas of research, after all. Go to the entrance to the pass and look for him by yourselves. Look out for a refined gentleman with the presence of a true scholar. And... Um... Hey, stop worrying! We got this! So look for a fine gentleman with true scholar. Sucrose... Sucrose is Do you mean this guy? Nervous. <laughs> Sister Rosaria! So here you are! Oh yeah, Barbara. The choir practice is about to... I've told you already, I don't go in for that kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. This makes me wonder, are we going to meet Rosaria in the next part of Albedo's quest? Because she's always been suspicious oh, about him. This event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others oh. clause in my job description. Huh? Well, th that can't be... People aren't like that. <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. Don't fret. Nobody's going to blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was going to show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. Uh, you're right. 
It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've got to get going. Bye, Barbara. Hmm. Seems like that sister's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. Huh. So it's you, the honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the sisters of Monsta have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. <laughs> Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? We're looking for Albedo. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Oh. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No. This is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. As far as the sister go, you're fairly mysterious. You're more like a detective. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then. I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. Interesting. There he is. Mr. Albedo. Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves painting. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Potential paintings everywhere you look. But can't he see those hilly churros? I mean, they're dancing, so I don't think they're willing to attack him. <laughs> See, like, they're gonna attack you because you made noise. Looks like we startled them. See, Paimo, this is your fault for, for, for talking. You should have kept your mouth shut. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? Thank the gods I'd already completed my painting. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly trails unfinished. You were painting hilly trails? I thought you were painting a landscape. What's up with painting hilly trails? What makes them so interesting? Hmm. I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my painting, it may give you a clue. Um. Looks like they're honoring one of them. Uh. Wow! Look at the detail! But some of it seems to have been done in a hurry. You can find these holy trolls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. Hmm. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat. And there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un- it, Hold your horses. Ugh, something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't got the stamina. <laughs> we found your man. I'm heading back. <laughs> we found your man. I'm heading back. Okay, Rosaria. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Ugh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me. Mm -hmm. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. <laughs> I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. Hmm. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar. From another world, correct? You are worthy of your scholarly reputations. Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Hmm... The essence of life? Whoa, whoa, 
You want to start with that? <laughs> You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. Hmm. You can do that? Alchemy is really miraculous. However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. Hmm. It's like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom. That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Okay. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're going to be much assistance. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world, but you're not from the known world. By observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. So I'm an object of research. Uh, shall we just get out of here? <laughs> it's a little freaky. Uh, what's in it for me? Aura, knowledge, and the answer to the question you are seeking. It happens to be an answer that I can provide. You sure about that? How does that sound? Hmm. Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. How did we wind up in this? <laughs> okay. Oh. Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to know one, I guess. I wonder. Does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? I'm kind of hoping that we meet Rosaria in the next part of Albedo's quest because that'll make things a lot more interesting. Because she's very curious about Albedo. Paimon has a question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know. But I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Hmm. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. After awakening, even creation may be possible. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? No, Paimon's got a brain. Are you sure about but that? What's the seed going to become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? Doesn't seem like you understood. <laughs> Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. Nice! Yay! Paimon's holding you to it! You sure know how to keep Paimon on board. Well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. No. He's talking about Klee. That's so cute. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. I will say this. Um, Albedo does seem to be a really, really good big brother model to Clay, Because Klee does look up to him quite a lot. And it's such a sweet like little relationship they both have. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Okay. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? Yeah. <laughs> a second heart? A fourth stomach? Wait, what? Things of that nature. Uh... Not that I'm aware of. And this floating child is... connected to your body in some way? <laughs> Question. Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing, it's Paimon, not floating child. I mean, you are floating and you are a child, so... Floating child. I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. I met Paimon on my travels. I, I caught Paimon with a fishing oh, rod. That rules out that possibility. I wonder... Did Paimon guide the elemental power to you? Hmm. But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick. 
or cause the waterfall south of Springfield to flow backwards. <laughs> she is getting so lost. Mm. No, that definitely can't be it. Hey, how would you know anyway? Wait, Paimon, so you're telling me that you can? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Okay. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Okay. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. This is just a simple exercise. Okay. Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six oceanids. Oh, no, 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 I was expecting the smaller ones. Come, come back here. One with my oh, for goodness sakes. I'll beat us up so many more slimes. Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Eh, just a Excellent. bit cold. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Okay. How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. Hmm. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Will it make my stomach swirl? Will it crystallize in my stomach? Um... Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. Okay. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. That's not hugely reassuring. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. You better pay me a good amount of more for this. Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. This is like a health checkup. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. Okay. It's a type of ore known as star silver, but unfortunately, not all of it is suitable. Back to star silver again. Okay. Because he uses star silver to make paint, and now he uses star silver to make potions. I guess star silver is just good for basically anything at I'll this point. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. Okay. All going to plan. We should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. Uh, Paimon still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Hmm. Let's keep our eyes open. Okay. Uh, let's grab some star silvers. Oh. Off we go. This is my campsite. I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. Okay. While we are waiting, have a look over here. Oh look, it's Timaeus. Hmm. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Mm -hmm. In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. Well, this is weird. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Just to make sure, like, are they both like the same height? 
Yeah, they are. <laughs> so weird. Uh, let me talk to Timmy S. Real quick. Doesn't sound very rigorous. Surely there's another approach. All right, let's uh, let's take a drink. Talk to. I am burning. I. I am burning. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What's happened to her? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting, and a very positive one at that. But I'm burning. This potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. Okay. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. Okay. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. With you to end, how do I get off this train? <laughs> in essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. You... you want us to jump from up here? I mean, I don't see a problem with that. We can just fly. Not necessarily. Not if you know of a better method, that is. We'll be better to have a better... <laughs> That's not really reassuring. Whatever method you choose, the experiment will end when you reach the opposite shore of the lake. Okay. I will factor the time expended and your top speed into my comparative analysis. Mm -hmm. The opposite side of the lake. So, we're gonna be... <gasps> it's the Jade Chamber! Yo, I haven't seen that in such a long time. Oh, that brings back memories. Without limitations, we complete tasks intuitively, using the method that seems most rational to us. Okay. Some of us would be unable to stand the icy waters. Others might find the whole thing rather refreshing. Mm -hmm. No matter what choice you make, it's all a part of the experiment. For me, every detail is invaluable to the research. Uh, my kind then of experiment. Would, please, I eagerly await the results. Okay. Wait a minute. While we're busy testing, what exactly are you gonna be doing? Me? Recording data, responding to risks, providing uh, emotional support. <laughs> so if we emotional get support. Morning, you gonna dive in with us? No. Unless you're thinking of conducting competitive research? Oh! Uh, forget Paimon said anything. Talk to Albedo. Oh, there he is. Wait. Can I... Aww. Wait. Burst forth. Guess I can't. It would have been Great hilarious work. if I could I just like lift him up. Performance quite like it. Your reputation precedes you, traveler. The data shows that you're easily outperforming the average citizen in Monster. But you followed us the whole way without breaking a sweat. Me? Actually, I used alchemy to cheat a little. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> if it turns out that the natural laws of Tevat do not affect you. I should be able to make various inferences about the otherworldly civilization you belong to. If the natural laws of Tevat do affect you, then I shall be able to make inferences into the kind of evolution that would occur under the absence of such effects. The innumerable possibilities that this could present, the captivating insights, it would be something to savor again and again. But how does this help your research? You've helped me to unravel many of the problems that were holding it back. When we return to the campsite, I should be able to show you something interesting. You're back. Good timing. I've just about reached the conclusion. You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Quite literally by his sister and no less. <sighs> I wouldn't worry. She's just doing her job. Time for the results. 
We got a myriad of data today, and it was very difficult to finish all the research in one go. But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is you're very much like a human from this world. That's it. You couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for this? <laughs> Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you, but in fact, nothing in this world should be taken for granted. Have you ever considered that the world of Tevat may have a natural hostility to outlanders? Only the gods would know. I mentioned the natural laws of this world. You're able to converse with me here without consequence, and nothing seems amiss. But it's arguably a small miracle. The only other life form that, like you, has come here from afar is the seed that I mentioned. Under the effects of Tevat's natural laws, it isn't even able to sprout, let alone bloom. Hmm. But after I observed you, I had another idea. Imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy. And so... Okay, that looks really cool. The transition from nothing into something, from shoot to stem, and now to fruition. Is not nurturing otherworldly life also nurturing the world itself? Aww. It was so short lived. <sighs> it would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. Life's proudest achievement. It might have bloomed forever, and it didn't even have any fruit. Life is a manifold tapestry of free entities. Its value shouldn't derive from how long it stays with us. Even a momentary burst is precious. A short life can be well lived. A life lived efficiently, lived to perfection, is necessarily one unburdened by loneliness. So... Do you understand what I meant about us conversing here arguably being a small miracle? Well, I haven't weathered just yet. I wonder how my brother is. Huh? Things feel a little heavy right now. <laughs> Don't be sad. You've got Paimon to look after you. Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. No. <laughs> Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. So I'm a helpful specimen. I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. Oh. In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? I mean, you haven't even called for, for my help in such a long time. Sure, even if you sure, even if you just want some company, find me anytime. Wow. Glad I can count on you. Awesome. I made a point throughout of telling her how ordinary the results were. But what was that sediment I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have been there. What could it mean? Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot about this part. Are we going to figure out what's the meaning behind it? I don't think you guys can see it because of my little uh, of my little avatar, but hmm. Those born of earth are bound by its imperfections, but those born of chalk are free of impurities. You and I are alike, both composed of a substance that has yet to be fully defined. If one day I lose control, destroy Mondstadt, destroy everything. Can I rely on you to stop me? There's the line. Well, Beta, what do you mean by destroy monster? Like, what? What are you up to? Now that we know that in the second quest, he has... Um, there's a double ganger going around that basically looks like him, but doesn't have a star in his neck. And it's like... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I am curious. I am curious. Are we able to do, like, the second portion? Yes, we can. Although... 
Follow the snow to- Oh, wait, wait, we gotta find Joel's father? Like, dad, before we can actually do this? Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> well, that was fun. That was actually quite fun, just looking back and revisiting the first quest. Um, there were a lot of things I learned because, um, again, I'm, I'm pretty sure I skipped through the whole dialogue and didn't really pay much attention. So there's quite a few interesting things that I'm hoping that the second quest will clarify. So like there's those letterings that we found, like the glowing lettering or the symbols. Of this world. <sighs> what could it be? Uh, those symbols that I'm hoping they'll bring back in the second quest just to see like what their meaning is about. And then there's that vial that had like um like that purple musky thing in it. And obviously what does it mean by destroying Mondstadt? Like are you like a like a ticking bomb or something? What are you, Albedo? I mean we know like what you are, but what are you capable of? Hmm. Well, I guess we have to wait because we are currently... We just completed the first part of the second quest in which he just told us that he's not a human and told us about his master. So we'll see what happens on the second day and see what exactly is going to happen because I'm curious. Albedo is by far one of the most interesting characters in the game that's like you know interesting so i hope you guys enjoyed looking back to this i most certainly did it was fun um i'm gonna play a little bit more on the free to play account um because i still have like a whole region that i need to finish exploring and such but hopefully you guys Going enjoyed to the world and investigating turning the unknown into the known I miss this feeling. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.